when I talk about the team chemistry of the national team, I think some people, and it, and it was amazing, but I think some people think, oh, was it perfect? Was you guys always hugs, you know, arms around each other? I'm like, no. And who wants that, right? No, it's never perfect. It's not like, oh, we're going to be sitting around the campfire singing Kumbaya every night after we've just killed each other in practice. Like there were tears and it was hard at times. But the, the fact that we were willing at the end of the day, because there is a me versus we balance, right? You need the me, you need the competitive edge, you need the drive to be better individually and the willingness to keep growing individually. But at the end of the day, it was the we that won out always. And that's why we were successful. It's like you're pushing each other, you're driving each other, but at the end of the day, you get that wherever I fall on that ladder, I'm gonna help the collective in the end. But it takes work. That's not an easy thing to get to, right? It takes also an appreciation and uh, gratitude for the ones that have the harder roles that are maybe sitting on the bench and making them understand, hey, look, what you're doing and the role you're playing is so important. And I would even argue, as we did to our coaches when we were picking rosters, if you got those last three players right, then we won the World Cup or we won the Olympics. The characteristics that stand out of those last three players we, we would pick, um, someone that was all in. And it didn't matter if she played 90 minutes in a soccer game or no minutes. It didn't matter if she got one minute in the Olympics or played every game. That I'm here. I'm here for you and I'm going to I'm gonna push you as hard as I can in practice. And heck yes, do I want to be starting? Oh yeah, I do. Right? It's not an absence of that. It's having that, but also realizing if I don't get to that, I'm good with this role and I'm going to help us as a group be successful because the group success is what's paramount. And so it was those attributes we looked to. It was a joy to what we did. You know, I, I think about this all the time when you're hiring staff or you're hiring employees, instead of being consumed on what the technical skill sets are, how about we just hunt for someone that fits the joy we're seeking in that position? Because when you bring that energy to something, then I think everything else falls in place. And so that's what we were looking for in those last three players. There was a joy to the group. There was a joy to what they were doing. And there was an all-in mentality.